As promised, here's the SAM2 installation video for Windows. So by the end of the video, you should be able to do AI masking from Darktable. Before we start, I just want to say that this project is still in alpha. So I'm running Linux on my main computer, so I've tested the Windows installation using a virtual machine. As a result, it might not work on your computer. Also, the installation is not simple. You need to be a nerd to install that because most of the setup has to be done in the terminal. And as a result, I'm sure a lot of people won't be able to install it. But if you can handle the risk, stick around. Okay, so to do the installation on Windows, we need to install a few things. Okay, so the first thing we have to install is Python. So when you go on their website, you have a Python 14 and Python 3.15. So these two doesn't work. Uh, so you need to install Python 13, uh, 3.13. Then I will go on my GitHub because I've put all the links there. So next you need to install this. So I'm not sure if I need to install this because I'm inside a virtual machine. So perhaps in your case, you won't have to install it. And next we have to install Git. If you already have installed the Lua script module, Git is probably already installed, but in my case, it's a fresh VM. So I need to install it. So I will start by installing Python. Uh, so I'm just saying yes to everything. Once Git is installed, we can install this. And then we can install Git. So now all the steps are on GitHub. So as you can see, the first is to open PowerShell. Okay, so the first step is to copy these comments. So um, it will move us to our documents folder. Then it will copy my Git uh, repository. Then we will move there and then we will create the Python environment. Next, in my virtual machine, I had to uh, execute that command. Uh, so by doing that, we make sure uh, PowerShell won't block uh, any script from executing. Next, we need to activate the virtual environment and um, install the dependencies. So if I press enter, um, all the dependencies will be installed. So this part will take a few minutes, so be patient. Okay, so on this virtual machine, it took approximately three minutes. So now it means our application is installed. So uh, we need to create the configuration files. So as you can see, because there was no configuration files, uh, now it was created in the app data folder uh, under the SAM2 folder. And then there is a file named config.yaml. And in the same folder, that's where we need to download and place the model. So to do so, we need to go there. So it's the SAM2 GitHub repository. And you can download the models by following these links. If you want them all, you can download them all. Otherwise, you can just download the, the model you want. So for this example, we will download the large model. So we need to place it in our configuration folder. So I will copy this, paste it there. And you see there is a folder named checkpoints. That's where the model need to be uh, saved. So now we will wait until it's downloaded. Okay, so the model is downloaded. So now we can try to launch the graphical application just to confirm that it is working. Okay, so we have our uh, graphical application. So we won't use it for now. We will uh, skip to Darktable and we will use the plugin. So now we can open Darktable. Okay, so now we can open the Lua script manager. 
go to install update script. There you need to put the link to my GitHub repository. Uh, not this one. So you need to go there and there is a repository named DT custom script. So copy that link. Put a folder name, click on install. Once the installation done, you can go on start stop script. Under folder, you should see the new folder you created. And there, there is a new uh, plugin called SAM2. So when you enable it, uh, I believe at this point we need to restart Darktable. So I'm not 100% sure, but I will just, uh, I will do it just for peace of mind. Also, you don't need this uh, PowerShell window anymore. Okay, so I will just make sure, whoops. I will just make sure my script is enabled. Yeah, it's enabled. So let's say I try uh, this picture. So as you can see, I have my SAM2 plugin on the sidebar. So I don't know why there are two. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so it looked like this one is not working. This one is the right one. So I've tried to restart Darktable, but I still have two modules. So at this point, I have no idea why this is happening, but, um, but I won't worry about it for now. So what we need to do now is go there and uh, select the path for our executable. So uh, for us, we install the application inside documents, uh, SAM2 tools. And then under launcher, you need to select the bat file. So this is the bat file. Uh, there is an exe. Yeah, I believe this is the exe and this is the PowerShell script. So the exe is not working. Uh, it's not working when you want to use it in the command line. So make sure you select the bat file. So when you double click there, you can see the extension. It's a dot bat. So make sure that's what you're selecting. So then you need to press save. And now uh, we should be able to generate masks. So I made some change in the plugin. So now you can switch between three modes. So you have box, you have points and auto. So I show you box in another video. So this time I will use points. So if I click generate mask, I should see a pop-up window where I will be able to add points to generate my mask. Okay, so I now have my new window. So the way it works is you can do left click to add a point. Uh, you can also do middle click. Whoops. Okay, so the way it works, it's written right there. So you need to do a left click to add a positive point and you can do a middle click to add a negative point. So an area of the image you don't want to, uh, to mask. Uh, so when I tested it on Linux, uh, the middle click worked fine. Uh, but right now in my Windows virtual machine, it's not working. So I don't know if it's because I'm inside a virtual machine or if it's because the middle click doesn't work with uh, Windows. So uh, if you try it, let me know and I will try to fix it. So for this example, what is nice is now you see uh, it didn't select all the area of the bird. So you can add points. And now you see the legs are, uh, are well covered by the mask. So when I'm pleased with the mask, I can press enter. And then SAM2 will generate the mask. By default, it will place it in the same folder as the picture. So if now I go to my raster mask module, uh, my picture is inside. Yeah, so my mask is right there. So now you can go in any module. So let's say I open the exposure module and I click on external raster mask and I select external raster mask. So as you can see, I now have my mask for the bird in the exposure module. So I can, let's say I crank the exposure Okay, yeah, so you can see it's uh, it's working. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope the video was helpful. 
If it was, just give me a like and see you next time.